All right, and um, video catch up. Let's see. And we're ready. Alright, so uh, this is another constellation video guide uh, for Immortals Phoenix Rising. This is on the Xbox Series X that I'm playing on. It's also on multiple others. It's pretty much like a Breath of the Wild slash Assassin's Creed clone. So this here in front of me is the uh, grid puzzle. So that's the answer. So basically you put the balls in front of them all. Uh, I am missing one ball, which I've left deliberately. Uh, I am, show you on the map, I am right here. So you start at Clash of Rocks. I've moved not very far. As you can see, this is the story one, which is Breach of Vault of Aphrodite. So I've not really done a lot of the story, I've just been messing around. And uh, fastest teleporter near this is Eros's Haven. Uh, there's a bunch of like speed challenges near there, and um, if I move off here, I don't think this has an actual name. I think they just call them Myth Constellations. Yeah, Myth Con Myth Challenge Constellations. It's there. <laughs> so what you have to do, you have to get a bunch of balls bunch of blue balls or a bunch of orbs there most of them are relatively easy to get uh, this one you shoot a guided arrow into here to set fire to the brazier the light um, the one that we're running towards now on the bottom uh, on the right hand side is you fight a bunch of enemies you stand on shoot my arrow Stand on this platform here that my arrow is going to fly past. You shoot a guided arrow, you set fire to it, you hit the brazier up above. But you have to stand on it to activate it. A um, couple of them are a little bit hidden. So, this one I have figured out how. So, I wanted to include it in the video. So, as you run along, you'll see it there, right there. And it's here in the bushes. Uh, a lot of the puzzles that have bushes, you can destroy the bushes. So it is very worthwhile remembering to destroy the bushes. And then you come in here, there's two enemies, two really easy enemies. Kill them. Smash the wall with your axe, as you do. Grab the ball, or the orb, whatever the hell you want to call it. You know, I've had multiple people say different things. Some people say they're blue orbs, some people say they're blue balls. I literally don't care. Big giant blue balls is what I reference them as, so... And then you run along here. And you go up to here. And we'll just drop it on here. And, right, so here is where we've got to. I haven't actually progressed the puzzle, so hopefully it should be relatively simple. So, we'll place you in there, which activates you. Oh, no. Start line. Put you in there. Which activates you. And then... Why are you... And then activate you. Grab you. Drop you. Grab you. Come on. Don't be annoying while I'm trying to make a video. There we go. Alright, so you've got a free... Don't move on. Yeah, so you've got a 4x4 four four grid, and so the sequence is right in front of me there. So, bottom row first, closest to the bottom of your screen. Uh, 1 and 2. So, 1 and 2. And as you get it right, it lights up. So, 1 and 2. And second row is 3. So, 3. And one more on here, uh, which is third row, which is two. And then third row again, four, or depending which way you 
going. Uh, it's relatively quite easy because, as you can see, it lights up on here when you get them in there. If they're in the wrong place, it doesn't light up. You just pick them back up and move them. And... Fifth one in there. Makes a pretty little picture. Bunch of fishies, Pisces, I think. Stuff your hand in here. Get some coins of Charon, Charon, whatever the hell. Weird little picture turns. And that is basically it. Uh, the other thing I'm going to show you is one of them, uh, which took me a while to get, is down here. Uh, I don't know if it's actually down here or if I threw it down here like an idiot. But this is a legendary minotaur and the orb was right there where my arrow's going. So just don't be careful if you drop down there. But as you can see, you run along up here past the path and it takes you to where you got to go. And uh, the other one that was a tiny bit awkward but not massively is one on here. So again, there's a couple of enemies over here. You kill them. You stand on this, which removes force field, but it adds other force fields. You fly along here, destroy this brick with your axe, shoot the target, grab the ball. And that's it. So hopefully you find this helpful. Like I said, show you the map again. This is where I am. So this is the closest teleport point, fast travel point, which is Eros' Haven. And then that's basically where it is all there. And they're all around there. It shows it on the map anyway as the, as the orbs are always lit up. So hopefully you find that helpful. If you have any questions or anything, put it in the comments. Be more willing to help or go through it again or do my best to help. I'll be uploading all the other ones for the Myth Constellations. I'm not doing them for every other thing because it's only really the Myth Constellations where you have to work out a little bit of a puzzle. And hopefully... Uh, find it helpful and if so you know put it in the comments like it and subscribe and all that and i shall speak to you all uh in